Weasel Knightley knows. Tonight's main story, chaos at sunrise. Jackal's MC swarmed the high-end car dealership armed with baseball bats after a misunderstanding leaves Jessica White blast blacklisted from the store. We were on scene earlier today to catch it all live. There was a group of people at the casino and uh, they, they were doing stuff they shouldn't have been. That's all I'm going to say. Um, they was asked to move from the premises and then they started giving the lip and the jip. So uh, I stepped in front of Jess because they was being a bit rowdy towards her. So I stepped in front and I said, come on, boys, gel on. you got nice heat, you got nice air, keep it that way, gel on sort of thing. Anyway, after a while, we did move on, thankfully. He walked away. Well, I say walked away. He's got a funny walk. He looks like he's got a um, problem. Anyway, he walked away. And then Jess is coming here to buy a rather expensive motor and been told that she's been blacklisted by Tom here because, he was, uh, because she was rude to him at casino last night. Blacklisted from this business for being rude in the street. Oh, Brett, I've got a perfect headline for you. Snowflake Sunrise. Sorted. Yeah, man, I think there was some beef between, uh, I think, Jessica White and another guy that works at Sunrise. It's just, I don't know why they're beefing. Uh, not really sure why they're beefing. Uh, I don't know why they're beefing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the jackals are outside in revenge for Jessica White, because I think she got, uh, someone was lippy to her, something like that, and she's getting blacklisted because of it. I, said to him, I think that's discrimination, honestly. I, I would give her a 20% discount on the next car she buys. This is Moira Black, and I'm on the scene down at Sunrise Autos, where we've just had a bit of a confrontation with the uh, jackals and the owners of the establishment here. Jessica's going to tell us a bit about what um, led to this uh, chaos. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, in regards to obviously the jackals, um, yes, I am married to one, but their actions doesn't really account for sort of anything that takes part with me. Um, basically, there was a little bit of commotion outside of the casino yesterday. Um, it turns out it was a big sort of misunderstanding, um, which led me to being blacklisted from Sunrise um, because I asked someone to leave the casino premises. Um, since then, it's been resolved. We have put it down to a miscommunication. Um, and the blacklist has now uh, been lifted. Thank you so much. I mean, as you said, um, you can't be held accountable for anything that your husband does, just as he wouldn't be held accountable for yours. Um, what do you think about uh, that kind of... What do you think about them trying to suggest that you um, are responsible for your husband and him for you in that way? Yeah, um, I mean, Mr. Wolf, who's inside, um, he completely understands, you know, that I'm not accountable for any actions um, and that, you know, we were just dealing with a situation that pretty much led up to my blacklisting. Um, so last night, uh, that's pretty much all we spoke about in the office, which has now been resolved. Um, Excellent stuff. In regards to jackals, that, that I mean, that that's a different matter. What happened today with the jackals and with uh, Jessica White? Well... This is actually two separate situations that we are dealing with. Oh, beautiful. Yesterday there was an altercation at the casino uh, regarding Jessica White. But after talking talking it out, we came to the conclusion that it was basically just a big misunderstanding from both parts. And we decided to amicably resolve this situation. Excellent. We do like to see a, um, a resolution that isn't too... Uh, too sort of violent in some ways. Um, what was the second altercation that you're speaking of? second altercation was when I flew in to deal with the altercation from yesterday. Members of the Jackal Motorcycle Club have been beating up our inventory and they did pretty, pretty big damages. But <laughs> um, unfortunately this altercation could not be amicably resolved. And until further notice, uh, Jekyll's members are blacklisted from Sunrise premises, and it is regarded trespassing if they come near it. I see. Do you think that this is something that is going to go to court, or are you going to speak with the police about it? I'm putting a restraining order on the Jekyll's member for this premises with the police, and I don't think it's going to go to court. But I also don't think that this situation is going to be amicably resolved anytime soon. 
do you think perhaps um, sort of having a, a meeting between yourself and the jackals with perhaps the mayor involved as a uh, you know as a in between woman um, do you think that that could help in any way to get some answers from them and become a, uh, became uh, become able to you know move past this in a in a peaceful way i just had a talk with um, the jackals uh Rodo Sayo club president i think it's called right yeah and, yeah uh, i we could not resolve this amicably and i don't think uh, the mayor can help us out i am willing to try uh, that's not to say I'm not an unreasonable man, but I don't really think it's going to do anything. It could have gone one or two ways. It went the better way. Um, but obviously then we've also got the Jackals who, um, you know, took There's it the other way situation instead. In and... Right, of and, course. Uh, uh, of course, all this uh, animosity now, again, uh, resolve one issue and cause another one. Uh, but they're kind of renowned for that. So I guess we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so... Uh... It seems that uh, the manager or whoever is, a, we'll say a worker of Sunrise, um, was acting, a, you know, acting a, a bit out of tone at the casino. Um, had a few choice words with the manager of the casino. Uh, today, he decided that uh, he was going to blacklist the manager of the casino, namely uh, Je Jessica Wilson White. Um, so uh, we uh, we went down to serve a bit of poetic justice, I wish say. Um, to see an owner or the manager, and they didn't turn up. So uh, you know, we uh, we did a did a few things, uh, questionable maybe. Who knows? Uh, the outcome of it essentially is uh, that the jackals have uh, have had a restraining order put against us, or are going to have a restraining order put against us uh, by Sunrise or Ives. I mean, personally, you know, if, if they want to lose, you know, uh, the custom of, you know, 15 plus people, then, you know, that's to them. You know, we're always up for building collections on motorcycles, which aren't exactly cheap. Um, and uh, as well as other things, you know, we like to buy big trucks and stuff. So, it, you know, swings and roundabouts. And for, you know, for them, unfortunately, I'd say it's a loss for them. Possibilities are endless, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be... You know, opposed to open up a home bike shop, I think that'd be a great idea. You know, we've all got vast knowledge on uh, different motorcycles. It'd be a great idea. And, um, but yeah, I mean, there's you know, there's always second-hand bikes out there, fixer-uppers, and uh, for us, you know, we can we can always make do. That's all from us at Weasel News. We'll catch you next time.